Yeah. So I'm going to talk about the uh, recent developments on MFM in the cloud. This is just a special case of MFM on AWS, um, but we are not restricted to any cloud uh, company and cloud service uh, in general. So everything here could be could be run on a different cloud service that is not AWS. So we earlier this year we gave a um, like a tutorial uh, on AWS as part of the the radius um, tutorial series, and for that we developed like a, a Docker image, uh, in this case an AWS image, um, that can be run on their cloud service. So you can you can use that image. Um, let me show you the repository um, on GitHub. So you, you can replicate this on your own computer, uh, the same environment. You can uh, use one of these containers here. Uh, most recent containers are built in packages uh, and then released right here. So you can just run Docker pull and then get the image, the latest in developer image in this case from the GitHub container repository. And when you start the container, you are either on your own computer or in the cloud, you're greeted with, with the development environment. That's why it's the development container. Um, and you have a pre-configured MFM repository right here. And this, this pre-configured MFM repository also has uh, the library pre-compiled. Um, it has kind of VS Code development setup right in your browser uh, at your fingertips. Everything is pre-set up. So you can you can go into example 1P. Example 1P is the only example that is pre-compiled, uh, pre but you can also like make example 3. And then you don't have to worry about linking configuration uh, with MPI do I have the right meters version? Do I have the right, uh, correct hyper version? Everything here is pre-configured. <clears throat> so let's say you want to want to run uh, example one. Also, this can be run in parallel. And uh, in, in this case, this is a pretty pretty beefy uh, beefy instance on AWS, so we are working with it. Uh, Xeon 8124M, uh, which has 36 cores, and every core has, I think, four um, additional cores that or additional threads, so you, you can run around 96, 96 cores here. J just run about Let's Let's do that instead of the, the sample run here. <coughs> we can, well, this is oversubscribing, right? Right, yeah. That is what this is. I'm just adding the oversubscribe. <coughs> And then it runs a problem in parallel. We, we have to solve and everything. But, but if you also want to see the visualization but don't have access on your local machine um, to the visualization tool, uh, we have the GSS GS version, which is also started with the same um, with the same Docker image, like the same servers or the, the same setup that I have here. Is all ran automatically in the Docker image. So you you connect to the correct address. We have the uh, instructions on the tutorial page. 
when you connect to a socket, this is all pre-configured, you just click connect. Now, we are connected um, to a web socket, and that now it's pulling data that it's not supposed to, to get. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you can uh, rotate the solution. This is not the solution I was showing before. Let me, let me run the, uh, the different examples. So this is example two, uh, now using PCG. And now we have um, the elasticity example, uh, linear elasticity solution from example two. Uh, you can visualize the vectors, feel like the direction of displacement. Um, can, can use the slide, uh, slice function here. Like you're used to in regular GLS. Um, everyone who hasn't seen the GLS JS version, um, you have the help right here. And uh, this is all the commands that work in your regular version. Um, oops, also work in the back version. Um, yeah, this is this is basically the the, the main um, main features that you can do with the image. The, the image can also be used for real development. You can you can change things in example one. Let's say um, you want the default mesh to be different, or you want partial assembly by default. Let's uh, it's, it's just change this to true, um, and then just run this one for us. Yeah. Make example, example change, and then we go and Okay, like, like demos. Uh, presentation of this, of course. Okay. Usually this works. Oh, um, okay. So <laughs> uh, that's the, the rest of my life. Right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um anyways, you can you can uh, use this environment to develop MFAM uh, with the mesh. Oh, yeah, it's a triangle mesh. <laughs> yeah. Red Zoom, yeah. I'm a core. Star. Star. You just did. Yeah, star. Star. All right, there, there we go. go. <laughs> yeah, so this has a fully working MPI uh, configuration. You can actually run multiple instances, um, or which you can use the, uh, I think this is a private repo, the Anthem Orchestra. So you, you can you can run different like you can run configurations. Uh, this is specifically for AWS. Uh, these configurations are uh, just need a user uh, and first name, last name, and then default configurations like which region you want to run and what the instance type is. The image ID is 
is optional. You can you can use any image that supports running Docker. So um, in, in this case, would be any AMD sixty four compatible um, uh, Linux based uh, image AWS machine. Image. Uh, yeah, I mean, you need security groups to make the make the parts work and everything, but uh, this, this is all pretty straightforward to get working if you desire to spawn like the whole uh, army of, of uh, instances or build your own HPC, uh, depending on the cost, this might be effective for, for some like small companies who just want to run one or two very big simulations. And then in the afternoon, they have to turn off uh, the computers and they don't have to deal with maintenance. They don't have to deal with uh, cooling, environmental costs, et cetera, with running the, the, the hardware or buying the hardware. Yeah. Do you want to show connecting to another device? Oh yeah, uh, you, since this is like web based, uh, you can, for example, so I, I connect it here. You connect it, okay? Uh, so you can connect. You can connect on, on something. Yeah, you can connect on your phone. Or something. Um, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, and then on, on his phone, uh, the the simulation. Shows out, so you can send this across the world. Actually, right. it doesn't have to be it, the the environment could also doesn't have to be on, on the computer. It could be on an iPad or right. another yeah. device. Yeah. Anything on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Quick, quick, give me the IP. <laughs> <laughs> the IP is right there, but the instance yeah. will be down in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. and maybe show the the tutorial page if people want to give this a try themselves. Yeah, so the, the FM tutorial that we held uh, has descriptions that we have. Uh, the, the possibility to, to use Amazon EC2 instances with the Docker container. Uh, this has instructions how to run them, run commands, etc., uh, run them locally. And then you can also go through the tutorial if you desire to um, maybe learn more about Anthem if you have explored all the all the nooks and crannies. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Julian.